Lucifer. I am. Where have you come from? My playgrounds. Of course. I know. Hey! Hey, don't walk away from me. I'm talking to you. Sit. All right. What can I start you with? Tea. Cream, please. And you? Coffee. Black. Coming right up. So what's with all the fanfare? I thought it was time that we had another conversation. Well, I didn't think there was anything left to say. But I enjoy a good visit. Like the one I had with your son. Visit? So that's what you're calling it. You've uh, changed a bit. Oh, you mean this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, living my best life. Nothing wrong with that. You only live once, right? So what's the topic of the hour? Uh, I can't read minds. No matter how many times I taste it, it's always good. You created it. Of course you'd say that. I didn't create it for me. Hmm. Right. Your most precious creation. Stop that! <laughs> I'm sure my son didn't like it too much when you were uh, shuffling him around. Oh, so this is revenge? <laughs> really, God? It doesn't suit you. It doesn't? <laughs> Vengeance is mine, isn't it? Ah, so I'm right. What are you doing? Shh. What do you see? A light. Beauty. And so much more. What? It's like coffee, it's habit forming. Well, you would know about things like that. And you should know your precious creation are prone to it. First man and woman couldn't even follow the one thing you asked of them. And uh, who helped them with that? Please, <laughs> you gave them free will. Truth is, I thought I was doing you a favor, showing you their true nature. I just awakened them to it. I'm not surprised that you went after them. It was predictable after you set yourself against me and thus your swift exit from the kingdom. Talk about revenge. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right, Yahweh? <laughs> Work. In your jealousy of my precious creation, you have tried over and over again to muddy those waters, to cloud their understanding of my perfect love. What do you mean, tried? What I mean, fallen one, is that I built the desire to know me into them. Yes, humans have free will, but they also have the will to want to know me in the deepest part of their soul. You came up with counterfeit after counterfeit <laughs> to try to fill that hole, that desire. Money, fame, power, religion, relationships, anything but me. I walked in the garden with Adam and Eve, but then they couldn't because of you. The desire for restoration passed down from generation to generation. I began to restore that relationship with Abram. I wanted to bless all nations through him. 
but it wasn't until Jesus opened the pathway that it was truly fulfilled. <laughs> now this is more my style. Yes. But what do you see? Death. <laughs> Destruction. You're not wrong, but it's bigger than that. What else do you see? Trees, mountains. This is the fall of man. On this side is life and growth and peace. And on this side is the same. But in the middle, nothing grows. And as you said, death and destruction. Fruits of my labor. Mm. But just as the lava flow cuts through the forest, so sin brings a divide. Between you and your precious creation, or in time? Are they not the same? If this represents the past before the fall, and this is the future, when all things are made new, then the divide is finite. It's set, and your time of destruction is coming to an end. I have allowed- No, no, no. I did this. Me. I control my own destiny. I command legions. None of this. I am the eternal God, the everlasting Father, and even you were created. Only I set the future, not you. Not ever. Are you done? Look where you're standing. This is the only way to safely cross the divide, and it's been paid for in blood. Do you know whose? His. Yes. Jesus, my son. And despite your lies to divert many from even seeing this, many still find the path. But that's not even really a problem. I'm not the one keeping the truth from them. Look out here. So many try on their own to cross this treacherous divide, rock by jagged rock. And they never make it. They can't. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. <laughs> I don't care where they're dashed along the rocks just as long as they are. Some see the path that's right in front of them and don't even know that it's there, and others deny that the other side of eternity even exists. Uh, this is all we have. There's nothing after this. Believing in life after death is for fools. YOLO! <laughs> That's one of my favorites. <laughs> Lucifer, you are a poser. A pretend tour guide, misleading and distorting the truth, even from yourself. You're missing the point. My goal isn't to get them to be with me. My goal is to keep them from being with you. This is my revenge, to break your heart. And you underestimate them, fallen one. You always have. Can I offer either of you a pastry? Yeah, I'll have a donut and another cup of coffee. Turn over for me, please. Make that two donuts. I'll have everything for you in a moment. So, where's this conversation really leading to? 
I think it's time for me to remind you of some things. Well, you've done that, so why am I still here? Do you want to hear about how lost and stubborn your precious creation has become? They follow me blindly. I say jump, they say how high. You're the one who knows when the end is. I can't believe that you haven't put them out of their misery already. It's still my time of mercy and grace. Yeah, since when? Since the cross. Remember? The empty tomb. And how'd that work out for you? I mean, where's the love? I can't figure out if what your son did was heroic or idiotic. It drives you crazy, doesn't it? That anyone would repent and seek me. I have allowed enough time for as many to come as possible, and there are many that still do. There are those on your itty-bitty little path, but I thought you wanted to save the entire world. Think about it. If you did that, you'd have heaven on earth, and it ain't that. You still have no idea about what's really going on here. Oh, with your spotless bride? Because they're not looking much better. I got preachers stealing from their congregations, others having extramarital affairs, youth being promiscuous, people divided over politics. There are people in the church with drinking and drug problems, and the best part is... <laughs> Half these people have no idea they're even doing anything wrong. And when they do repent, they have no idea why they fall back into it so easily. Lucifer, you have earned being called the accuser of the saints, but you are seeing only what you want to believe. You, but, God, <laughs> I must say, I'm amused. Amused? Yes. Your title as the great deceiver is well deserved, but no more so than when you are deceiving yourself. The move of my spirit is powerful still. It indwells my bride, and they break through and see my wonders, and there is nothing that you can do to stop it. Oh, but I have, over and over again. I have used so many to stop you. Nero, Stalin, Hitler, Mao. Oh, so that's why my church no longer exists on Earth? No, I did, I, I stopped what could have been. Mm. Water is a powerful force. It cuts through rocks and it erodes mountains. And when it faces resistance, it finds another way. Okay. So it is with my spirit. Even when there is resistance from man or the likes of you, it cannot be stopped. It continues to move, cut through, and change the landscape. It opens a way for the seeking and satisfies the thirsty. It brings new life to the parched and barren. It finds the willing and humble heart. Those who seek to have relationship with me through my son, nothing will ever be the same. The same spirit moves in those that have found the path of life, purifying them like the fresh falling snow. But every snowflake starts as a particle of dust. 
dirt and impurity that remains at its very core. But this particle, this remnant, is metamorphosized into an amazing new creation with completely changed characteristics and properties, building facet upon facet until their former way of life is unrecognizable. No one looks at snow and sees dust or dirt. And so it is with my bride. She has become holy and pure because of my son's completed work on the cross. Her identity is in him. She is reflecting his beauty, his holiness. And that is who I see. You're afraid of her, aren't you? Of, no. <laughs> this is my kingdom, my throne, my dominion. I'm the one who instills fear. Mm. Not so much. Your so-called kingdom, it's passing away. And what you have stolen has already been returned to its rightful owner. And you are about to be treated as the hostile tenant that you are. Your just deserts have been served. My spotless bride is emerging victorious in these last days, and sure as the word from my mouth is true, she is going to overcome in my son's strength. Even now, she breaks down your domain of darkness, bearing my light. You persecute her, and she grows even stronger. You suppress her, and she walks boldly in my authority, breaking your strongholds. You slay her, and the story of her faithfulness spreads tenfold. My kingdom is going to continue to advance till that final hour, and you are powerless to do anything about it. And jealous of what you can never possess. This is the bride you fear, and she has done it with the heart of a servant. So it's slaves you're after. My son is the ultimate servant. And my faithful ones follow him willingly, even joyfully, out of great gratitude. That is the one thing I still can't get my head around. The son of God. Lucifer, you would not notice the greatest act of servanthood if it was right under your nose. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh. He's talking about me. Listen, pal, this doesn't concern... Hello, Lucifer. Or should I say, Satan? You were the waiter? That's right. I'm always here. Always waiting. Why? Why? It's in his nature. And it's very pleasing to me. And he will continue until that day that I tell him to call the faithful home. You're fighting a war that was won the moment I said, it is finished. I think our little chat has come to an end. I understand, your time is short. Well, since you're such a great servant, you can clean up my mess. Oh, I will. You know, just because you've rigged the game doesn't mean I'm not going to... You thought I was vicious before? That's nothing compared to what I'm about to unleash! For those that find me and walk with me, they have no reason to fear you. I'm with them, always. They are not ignorant. They are aware of your schemes. Should I have the bigger table brought in? The day is coming, my son. The day is coming. The invitations are still being sent out, even to the very ends of the earth.